Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. So, the party had made it to Barovia. Exiting through the gates, or entering through the gates, I should say. But we didn't play last week. But, I run two games. So today, we're going to talk about the other one. That's right, I am the AMDM Lee. This is my cup of coffee. And you're watching... Order of the Scale. <sighs> so, again... Uh, my Bridgewater Knights game did not play. Our schedules just conflicted too much. It would have been a really late start and a short, short game. We'd have been able to start and then maybe play for an hour, maybe. And that's not counting. I mean, that's including the, oh yeah, hey, what's going on? Type, you know, the the BS talk that always happens before game. So we would have only been able to play for a few minutes before everybody would have had to go. All right, guys, time to go. Um, and that was mainly my schedule that had messed that up this week. But I do have another game, and my other group is called The Order of the Scale. Most of it is made up with people I work with. And it takes place in Oxorin, on the other side of the continent. I've mentioned them before. They are a group of um, elite spec ops type characters. And so they were set in, so this last game that they played, <clears throat> I run these games very episodic, very much, this is the mission, go forth and do it. So, there's a summer festival that is going on in my, in Oxhorn, and there's a political, scholarly figure that is attending this. He is studying the fireworks display during this festival. They all go out on ships out in the ocean, out in the harbor, and uh, watch the fireworks go off. And he was very particular about the fireworks, and he was going to be using some of the knowledge of the fireworks to help with the local farmers' irrigation and pesticides and things like that. So he was studying up on the fireworks and just enjoying himself. And our crew... Our squad of uh, soldiers, heroes, whatever they may be, are sent in undercover to act as a hidden guard there. Just to stay out of sight. If anything happens, react to it. Don't let him get hurt. Keep him safe. So some of them went in as uh, crew members. A couple of them went in as one of them. Uh, we had a crew member. We had one guy turn himself into a cat. One of them went in as a guest. Only had the three players this week. So they go in there and it the, goes off fairly much. They, they run into an incident where one of the crew members disappears. And one of the other crew members just screams, lets her know, hey, this person just lost all of her color, turned into water, and disappeared. Now she's gone. There's no evidence of water, nothing like that. So the players really don't investigate that too much. They start to. But then they also find out there's a stowaway on the ship of a little girl. And so while everyone's... And the seven guests and... I don't see there was... Three, four, five, six, seven civilians, guests that were there. Eight counting, if you count the uh, Maloud, who was the person they were supposed to protect. And then the captain and the crew and a few guards. So while they're enjoying the speculatory and just still chatting up and doing a little bit of investigation work, not a whole lot. They A lot of the times they just stayed like right there at Malaud. Um, 
these creatures start to crawl up on the deck of the ship. These humanoid oozes proceed to crawl up on the deck of the ship. And the party protects Maloud, who's at the other end of the ship, the other side. So they're like, well, if he doesn't come towards Maloud, we're going to stand back. We're staying back this way. We're not going anywhere near those things. So those four things that climb up on the ship proceed to kill the crew. One after the other. The party still stays back. In full view. I'm like, okay, so they kill four crew members. I rolled all that. Yep. Four crew members are dead. I'm like, okay, we're staying back here. We're still protecting the Malad. I'm like, okay. And the guards come out. And now two gardens are dead. We're still staying back here protecting the Malad. Okay. So that's six people dead. Oh, okay. So, okay, now they've killed. What are you doing? Oh, they're just staying back there, holding their actions. And so now, let's see, that's six. So three more people end up dying. So they allowed nine NPCs to die while they stood there and watched. Once the creatures started to, uh, two of the creatures started to approach the party, that's when they acted. Uh, two of the creatures approached the party, the other two tried to get into the, to the mess hall, or into the, the kitchen area. So that's when they reacted and started attacking the, the creatures. Easily defeated the creatures. Mostly, yeah. So then while, there are, while everyone, once those creatures are, are talking, everyone's debating around what's going to happen, you know, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Malaud comes down from where he's at. Oh, he was up with the captain near the, uh, the wheel of the ship. And he comes down to interact with everyone else. And the little girl goes running over to him. To say, yeah, come on, come play with us. You know, the, the little girl stole away. At which point the... One of the players, Druid, steps in front and goes, no, 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 you can't. You, you, you can't interact with this guy. You can't touch him. She goes, oh, but I'm such a charming person. He failed his wisdom saving throw. So he is now charmed. So he's like... They're all dancing together. She charms them aloud. So they're all dancing together. Yeah, the little girl's the evil one. Of course the little girl's the evil one. Who didn't see that coming? Um, one of the players realizes that he's acting odd because he's dancing around and holding this little girl. And this... Uh, Takash does not do this. He, the, he is very much a woodland shaman-esque character. He does not interact like this. Uh, so they shoot the little girl, <laughs> which, anyway, he used a, a power which inevitably took out Maloud, killed Maloud. So the druid character then stabilizes Maloud, and we start to have a PvP battle. Yeah. Uh, because now he's like, why'd you shoot the little girl and you killed this guy? What kind of person are you that is... <laughs> has uh, swindled your way into this organization at this high ranking to take out this guy. What kind of genius is this? So they have a little bit of a struggle. Two of them, after that, they come to their senses a little bit, and they start to look for the little girl. Malau stabilized. The guy that killed him is now guarding up top. They go down, and they don't find the little girl. They do find a couple of corpses, uh, and a box of this gelatinous red thing, which then forms heads coming up and proceed to get their asses whooped. 
it came very close to being a TPK. Had the one player that stayed up top not come down, it would have probably been a TPK because that was that was one more economy of attacks, people. This thing was able to do hit and do some serious damage. And it could also suck memories out from you, re reducing things to a point where you would be... I had half the party at a minus six to all their rolls. It was like just devastating. They finally killed it and went on, but to stand there and not do anything and allow nine people to die oh they get back they got a little bit of an ass chewing this week which we play tonight or well the time of this recording it will be tonight and um oh they're getting punished oh yeah that's all I got for now, guys. If you like these videos, please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, please click on the share button. Every like's an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Help me gain 300 experience points so I can get to second level. And as always, the AMDM does hereby authorize you, the viewer, to gain 10 experience points for every video that you share. Just tell your DM the AMDM said so. Uh, that's all. All I have for now, so go forth and roll some dice.